William Balfour faces life in prison if convicted. You can read more about Jennifer Hudson's emotional testimony at HLNTV.com. And Dana Johnson is a defense attorney following this case. She joins us uh, via webcam. Um, Jennifer, thank you very much for joining us. It seems that the prosecution wanted to start um, with an incredibly powerful witness. And I, and I don't know, maybe someone that would get the jury's attention. Was it very deliberate that they started with Jennifer Hudson? It was. Normally you think the strongest witness goes last, but keep in mind, Jennifer Hudson doesn't really know any direct evidence about this case. Mm -hmm. She wasn't at the crime since she was actually in Florida at the time that this happened. And ultimately, all she really did was maybe give a motive for the defense to argue this is why they arrested Mr. Balfour. This is a high-profile person and they wanted to put some defendant to trial. She really didn't offer that much other than emotion. Okay, which, which sometimes I, I suppose prosecution, prosecution kind of wants that to, to get the jury um, from jump and, and, and to take them through the next few days. Now, her sister, Julia, testified that her ex-husband had threatened to kill her um, and her family. Um, how does the defense overcome that? That's pretty powerful. Right, and not only that, she actually said that the threat was she, he would kill the family first, yes. so she would basically have to suffer, which actually kind of does go very strong on the motivation. She said that when her son would be affectionate towards her, he was jealous. So it did give a motive, which you, you don't technically have to prove a motive as the prosecution, but obviously a jury wants to hear, why would he do this? This is his motivation. You know, the defense is sticking to the brother of Jennifer Hudson, who is also a victim, you, you, that essentially he was involved in drugs and that you know that was not denied and that perhaps this was more a drug related crime they're gonna have to stick to that and say this is not the way a jealous husband acts they don't take the nephew and you know have him show up dead several days later that's more consistent with maybe a revenge murder there's no direct evidence either way could that backfire though on the jury if you're if you're seen as trying to taint the victims Right, absolutely. You know, if you end up trying the victims and saying, look, he was a bad guy, and there wasn't, other than the fact that there was an admission that he was involved in drugs, there isn't, again, any motivation for somebody to kill him. So, yeah, that can backfire because ultimately he's deceased. He didn't ask for this to happen. But, you know, at the end of the day, if they weigh the evidence and there isn't anything directly linking Mr. Balfour, other than the fact that he had threatened her, it's going to be a tough sell to give him life mandatory, life in prison for something that maybe hasn't been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. So, it, so it's not a small thing that, you know, all the threats, the fact that Jennifer Hudson said the family never liked him, all the, the fact that he has a record, that, that's all in one category, but in the other category is the fact that there's no physical evidence. Yeah, and I actually was surprised that the judge let Jennifer Hudson say we never really liked him because mm. she said she's known him since the sixth grade. She tried to not be around him. That's kind of just saying he had bad character. It isn't, again, direct evidence. I'm not so sure that that's compelling to a jury when they weigh the evidence at the end of the day. There's no DNA that matches him. I think the defense is in a better position at this point than the prosecution. The police have just started testifying. And again, you know, just saying this is an emotional crime scene that these people loved their mother, that may not be enough. Okay. Jennifer, that's why we brought you in to give us some perspective. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.